Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh again. And today I'm going to share with you some tips and tricks for saving money on your animals. Because especially when it comes to reptiles, you can end up spending hundreds of dollars on supplies. Um, and you really don't need to because with just a few simple you know, tips and tricks, you can get everything for pretty cheap. So the first obvious one is to check Craigslist, which is actually where we got Kelly's tank here from. Um, you might have to wait a little while and be patient. We spent over a month looking on Craigslist, but we found the 75 gallon tank that she's in online for $30. Um, all we had to do was go pick it up and it fit in the back of our little Toyota Corolla. So we didn't even need to like borrow someone's truck to get it. Um, the second thing I would say is definitely check your local thrift stores, which is where we got the stand that we have it on. This only cost us $6 and $5 to borrow a friend's truck. So that was a pretty good steal. Um, you can see it's a little bit bigger than her tank. Um, so we have a place to set like her water bottle and hand sanitizer from when we're done holding her and stuff. Um, so you can really save on like a stand if you find the right piece of furniture. Check garage sales too. You find a lot of people are willing to get rid of these bigger items for really cheap just because most people don't have a way to get them home. And if you know anybody with a truck, just you know, throw them some gas money. I'm sure they'll help you out. Uh, also, do your shopping for supplies online. So this lid here... That cost us, I think it was $20 off of Amazon, and it would have cost us $60 from Pet Supplies Plus or Petco or someplace. Um, and you can, you might be able to see how it's a little warped right now. You can see that's kind of sunken down in there because it was really cheap, but it's not a big deal. I mean, if you uh, own a snake, you might want to spend that money and get a higher quality one because we all know that snakes are awesome escape artists. But for like a bearded dragon, this is fine. It doesn't fit on there perfectly. We actually had to bend some of these corners just to get it to fit. You might not be able to see that there. There we go. Yeah, we had to bend that out just to get it to fit on there because it wasn't a perfect fit, even though it was advertised for a tank of this of these dimensions. Um, the other thing is, you know, if you don't mind how it looks, you can do things on the cheap. Like, you know, we have a water tub there that's just a plastic container. Nothing special. Um, it works great. She loves, she'll go in there and drink from it if she's really thirsty, uh, if it gets really hot in here during the day. Um, and it also just helps with the humidity, which is the big reason that we have it in there, so we don't have to spray the tank quite as often. Um, also, talk to your friends, uh, people that you know that are into animals. Tell them about your animals. That's where we actually got that food dish from. We were talking about how we were actually going to be doing that hide there and they said you know hey i have some leftover supplies would you want anything and i was like yeah you know we could actually use a food dish gave it to me for free the other thing i would say is definitely check like bundles and stuff like that that you can get so uh, when she when we first got her she we had a smaller tank and it came with two of these thermometers we still have that tank we're probably going to reuse it for a snake sometime in the future but we took the thermometers out and put them into this tank, and then we just had to buy another one, and it wasn't that expensive to buy those. Uh, I would also say try DIY stuff, which if you saw my other video, this is how we did her hide. Instead of spending a bunch of money on a hide that would have still probably been too small for her, we made it ourselves. Now, this was probably the most pricey thing in her tank. Total supplies were about $80. However, there's enough to make more than one hide. I mean, you can make two, possibly even three hides with that amount of supplies. The big thing is the sealant that you need to get. So if you know other people that are into reptiles, talk to them. They might be willing to go in with it on you and you could possibly do it for as little as $30 per hide and that's a, a smoking deal. Well, last but not least, check out your local reptile shows, small animal shows, whatever you have going on in your area. This is where we got, oops, sorry about that. This is where we got these lights here. Um, the domes, I should say. The domes only cost us $2 a piece. Now they are, extremely cheap um it, it can be a hassle to click them on and off sometimes because they are so cheap they're wearing down pretty quickly however it's lasted us a solid two years we're probably gonna get a couple more at the next show that we go to just so that we have some spares um yeah and if you look at domes at you know uh, your local pet store it'll probably run you at least 20 bucks possibly even more depending on the wattage um and these have served us really really well so and for, I think our admission to our local reptile show was about 5 to $10 a person. I don't really remember exactly what it was. But, you know, we also got to see some cool animals and talk to some cool people. There were some other stuff that we could have picked up there. We almost picked up a thermostat for her. That was really cheap. So, you know, keep an eye out in your paper. Um, do a little Google search. See if there's any reptile shows coming up in your area because you can save big money on supplies doing that.
that's it for now. Uh, I hope that helps you guys save some money on your animals and maybe makes your animals a little bit happier. I know Callie has been really happy since we upgraded her tank and added all the stuff to it. Uh, until next time, though, I will catch you guys soon.